Trout fishing is red hot at Collins Lake. Check out these awesome rainbows my clients have landed this fall. Join me on the FHS pontoon boat and learn my proven methods for catching more and bigger trout up close and hands on. To book your trip now, go to fishhuntshoot.com and we'll be yelling fish on. Collins Lake, baby. <laughs> man, oh man. Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. I'm aboard the FHS pontoon boat up at Collins Lake. Um, and I have a viewer request today. Johnny T, he asked me to show everyone the proper way to thread a night crawler when you're out trolling for trout. Threaded night crawler is an excellent bait during the winter. So let's get into that. You're gonna basically need four different things when you go out to thread a night crawler for trout trolling. You're gonna need a worm threader right there. You're gonna need a hook right there. You're gonna need a leader right there. And of course, you're gonna need a tub of night crawlers. Now, I don't really go for the mini crawlers or the baby crawlers. I go for the full size night crawlers. I feel that that's gonna give you the best spin as you troll the bait through the water. It's gonna give you the best results. So let's get into it. First thing you're gonna need is a hook. Now this is a must-tad slow death hook. It's a walleye hook. Walleye guys, they troll a lot of bait just like us trout anglers do. These either come in size number one or size number two. Both sizes work great. If you look at the hook from that angle, it just looks like a normal fish hook. But if you hold it that way, you see that bend? That bend is very important. That's going to cause the worm to rotate through the water when you troll it. That rolling action is a critical part of success. They'll hit a worm that isn't rotating, but they hit a worm that's rotating a whole lot better. Now, I've got that hook attached to about a 22 inch section of fluorocarbon leader material. Now, you don't always need to use fluorocarbon, but since it reflects light, at the same rate as water does, it renders that line virtually invisible to the fish. Sometimes it matters, you're not gonna know when, so use a fluorocarbon leader at all times. Um, I prefer eight or 10 pound test. That's light enough to fool the fish, but strong enough to land a really big fish. I don't like to go down to six or four when I'm trolling. I want something that's gonna allow me to land an eight or 10 or 12 pound trout, the kind of big fish you see me catch here on video out at Collins Lake when I got clients on the boat. Um, the hook is attached um, using a Pelomar knot and I have just tied an overhand loop in the top of the leader. So let's select a worm and let's thread them. Before I do that though, I should talk a little bit about the worm threader. If you aren't familiar with what a worm threader is, it's simply a hollow metal rod um, attached to a handle. And since it's hollow, it's going to allow me to put the hook point into the end of the tube and that's important. So, get to that in a second. Let's pick out a night crawler. Okay, so here's a nice fat worm. This is a, a likely candidate. And what you're gonna notice when you get a night crawler is there's two ends to a worm. There's the kind of the flat, flabby end, and that's the tail. And there's kind of the pointy, muscular end. That's the head. That's the end you want to thread on your hook. The tail section, it's pretty flabby. It doesn't roll very well. So what I do is I take my worm and I get about an inch and a half to a two inch section of the head end of the worm and I'll just snap that off. I take the tail, I discard that, I throw that out there. That's an offering to the fishing gods. I take my worm threader and I insert it right in where that worm was broken off, right in there and I just draw that worm all the way down the threader. Now, a mistake some guys make, or I feel it's a mistake, is they'll pop that threader out of the side of the worm, and what they're trying to achieve is, is they wanna have a little piece of worm dangling behind the hook. I think that's a mistake. When you do that, you're encouraging the fish to come up and grab the end of the worm, um, you're going to get a lot of tugs, a lot of jerks that way that, that don't hook up. You're going to get a lot of short strikes. I want my hook right at the very end of the worm. So I thread them like that. I go into at the broken end and I take it right out through the tip of the head. Now, once you got the worm on the threader, go ahead, take your hook 
like that, insert the hook into the into the end of the tube, got it in there, and then put some tension on the line. You can see I'm pulling that pretty tight. You need some tension. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna take that worm and you're gonna slide him right up off of the tube and onto the hook and you're gonna draw him right up just like that. You're gonna remove the tube, you can set that down. Yes, I lose them sometimes. They're scattered all over Northern California because I've lost dozens of them in my day. Um, but anyway, that is a properly rigged night crawler. That is gonna rotate through the water. Um, you wanna be trolling these anywhere from 1.5 to about 2.2 miles an hour most of the time. My favorite speed for worm trolling is 1.8. Now you can snap that on the trolling swivel at the end of your rod and troll it just like that, naked, and you're gonna catch plenty of trout. But uh, sometimes I do, to I do prefer to team it with an attractor. Now you can team it with a, a big long set of traditional flashers. A lot of people still like to do that. It's very effective. But I like to go a little more stealthy than that. I, I tend to pair my worms with one of two attractors. I'll either put them behind one of my turbo flashers, which let me spin it for you. Let me get it going. You can see that it rotates. It makes a tremendous amount of vibration going through the water, and it also generates a good deal of flash, yet it offers very little drag. So you're able to fight the fish, have maximum fun, while you know achieving a pretty lethal level of flash and vibration. When you're using those big old cowbell flashers, it's not that fun to catch the trout. Um, they're effective, but they have so much drag, they tend to deaden the fight of all but the biggest fish. So that's one thing I go for is the turbo flasher. The other thing I go for is my mini willow leaf dodger. I find that to be very effective too. Um, a couple years ago during the fall, we were running this consistently out here at Collins. It was the best thing going for us. And we caught trout on, uh, on that and a threaded worm up to about 12 pounds. We were running the worm about 20 to 30 inches behind the blade and uh, it was working for us. When you're trolling a worm on a slow death hook and you're using a small blade or you're using a turbo flasher, you don't need the worm real close to the attractor. That attractor is just drawing fish into the vicinity so they can zero in on that worm, they can smell the worm, maybe come up and taste the worm a little bit. The worm closes the deal. This is like putting your business card out there. This just draws the fish in the vicinity. The worm, he actually closes the deal. He makes them sign on the dotted line and uh, then you're in business. Anyway, that's how I rig a night crawler. That's how I rig a night crawler to roll. Other guys do it other ways. Your mileage may vary, but uh, I can tell you, I've caught thousands and thousands of trout on uh, threaded night crawler, threaded just like that. Either troll naked or teamed with my turbo flasher or mini willow leaf dodger. If you're looking for these, these attractors or anything else to do with trout fishing, go on over and check out my store at fishhuntshoot.com. And if you'd like to book a trip with me up here at Collins Lake and learn how to trout fish firsthand while reeling in some big hard fighting Collins Lake trout, check out our guiding calendar. We have lots of availability in January and February. We just turned that part of the calendar on. So you can get out here with me and yell fish on. I'm Kel Kellogg. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. <laughs>